Hello everyone, welcome to the Twisted DNA. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about touchdown PCR. So what is a touchdown PCR? Well, touchdown PCR is a modification of the PCR protocol, which is used to decrease off-target priming and to increase the specificity of PCR reaction. So before we talk about what this sentence actually means, let's talk about a principle of general PCR first. So you might already know that for every PCR reaction, there are three most important steps. First is the denaturation, second is the annealing stage, and the third is the extension. So we're going to focus on the annealing stage of the PCR reaction. So what happens in the annealing stage of the standard PCR is that the primers would bind to our target sequence and this binding of a primer to the template DNA serves as the starting point for the DNA amplification. So the annealing temperature is what actually determines the specificity of primer annealing. So annealing temperature is the temperature that is used in the annealing step of a PCR reaction. And this annealing temperature is highly dependent on the melting temperature of primers. And the melting temperature is the temperature at which the 50% of the double-stranded DNA is changed to single-stranded DNA. So in conventional PCR, the annealing temperature is usually lower than the melting temperature of the primer in order to allow both forward and reverse primer to bind to a single DNA. Here we can see that this template DNA has undergone denaturation in the denaturation step. So an, in annealing step, both forward and reverse primers are bound to a single-stranded template DNA. And this binding, as I mentioned, is dependent on the annealing temperature. And this annealing temperature should not be too low because that would allow for non-specific binding of the primer. So annealing temperature is very important. So in general PCR reaction, the annealing temperature is usually set few degrees lower than the lowest melting temperature of the primers. So what is a touchdown PCR? Like I mentioned, touchdown PCR is only a modification of the annealing step of the normal PCR reaction. So what happens in touchdown PCR? So in touchdown PCR, the annealing temperature is initially set 10 degrees higher than the melting temperature of the primers. So why do we have to have such high uh, annealing temperature is because using such stringent condition favors the perfect binding of primers to the template DNA. Once and then the annealing temperature is reduced by half a degree to one degree Celsius every successive cycle until the melting temperature of the primer is reached. And this is done for about 10 to 15 cycles and after the end of these 15 cycles, the target sequence will have undergone several cycles of amplification and then it will become the dominant product of the PCR reaction. So as you can see that our template sequence have undergone several cycles of PCR, so the majority or the dominant population is now our target sequence. And once we have that, in phase two of the PCR would follow the standard PCR amplification for about 10 to 20 cycles using the final annealing temperature that is reached in the touchdown phase. This would be a little easier to understand by the example. So this is an example of a touchdown PCR program. So here in the first uh, phase, you can see that the reaction is carried for 20 cycles, where in the annealing stage, the annealing temperature is decreased by half a degrees every cycle.
So at the end of this first phase, um, the annealing temperature would be 48 degrees Celsius. So in the second phase of the PCR, this is run for 10 cycles, and the annealing temperature of this phase is set to 48 degrees Celsius. So now the um, PCR amplification or the DNA amplification would be carried out like a normal PCR reaction. And this is how we do the touchdown PCR. So when do we use touchdown PCR? Of course, um, one answer to that question would be whenever we need to increase the specificity of the PCR reaction. But what happens is sometimes the, when we design primer for the PCR reaction, it is based on the amino acid sequence. However, the template DNA may not have the exact sequence as we assumed from those amino acid sequence. Or sometimes when we design a primer, we would use one species for primer design, but we would actually use the target DNA for a different species. So in any of these conditions, the primer cannot bind to the template DNA. So a stringent condition is actually required in order to facilitate the primer binding. And touchdown PCR outcompetes any non-specific product or any kind of primer dimer formation. So that is when we use touchdown PCR. So that is all for today. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.